Hello guys, it's Mr. Multi Havoc here, bringing you episode 23 of the gun review, and today we're doing the A91. An unusual weapon even by Russian standards, the A91 is a bullpug carbon chambered in the 5.56 near round instead of the Russian caliber. Made from polymers, it's featuring a forward shell injection system that keeps the shell well clear of the shooter's face upon ejection. The bullpug configuration prevents the A91 from mounting a foregrip. Funny thing is, you can mount the foregrip, which I'm using, um, and the 3.4 times scope PKA, the Russian one, and a uh, heavy barrel. This gun is amazing. Red dot and 3.4. I actually recommend the 3.4 with the heavy barrel setup. Usually it's going to be flash press because this is a, a carbine. It's much smaller. But no, it works well with the heavy barrel, and that was really surprised. 800, round, uh, 800 rounds uh, per minute, which is a pro. It carries the 5.56.45. That is unusual because Russian standard uh, ammunition type is 5.45 by 39 or 7.62 by 54. It carries the NATO 5.56 by 45. So you're getting that. It, it benefits over the Russian weapons because of that round type of round. 800 rounds. Uh, rate of fire is 800 rounds per minute, which is still to me is unusual too. Also because usually AKM only the A91, but usually the AKM. Uh, what else? The PKP, the RPK, they're low. They're like 600, 750, right? But the A91 is 800, AEK 950, I believe. Another unusual thing about this weapon also, it's a bullpug layout. I mean, you know, I don't see any Russian weapons that are bullpug. But other than that, this gun is amazing. I do recommend the 3.4 time scope, like I said. Heavy barrel and foregrip. You're allowed to mount a foregrip, even though it doesn't say that. Foregrip is going to help you, you know, at least with the hor uh, with the uh, horizontal, but you do still get the same vertical. Heavy barrel for longer ranges, right? And since you have that 3.4 time scope, it's good. Medium range. I went fully automatic, and almost all shots counted, and I took down the person. I took down the enemy. I was actually really surprised how it works. I thought, well, wait, 3.4 times was not going to work. Because before the patch, I think December patch, for me, it only worked for short range. After medium range, with the red dot also sometimes, it didn't work out. And 3.4 times scope was a no-no. But now, it, it's amazing. Maybe it's me out of nowhere. They did something with, with the uh, vertical recoil. Not too much with the horizontal, but the vertical. That's what I noticed. So all in all, be honest with you, this is my, my favorite weapon. This um, favorite engineer weapon, I should say, sorry. This is my favorite engineer weapon. I'm able to put a scope on it, no problem, red dot. I can have a heavy barrel with the scope. Uh, foregrip, obviously, you can have laser, flash suppressor. If, you, if you're if still not comfortable with the 3.4, how it, the recoil is, add a flash suppressor, flash suppressor. If it still doesn't work out for you, then you can take off the, the scope and put a red dot, and you'll be fine there. But all in one, I like it because you have, like, like I said, you have the 800 rounds. I mean... You can do a lot with that. You know what I mean? With the 800 rounds, I'm using to put more suppression on the, on the guys. But so, like I said, it's a great weapon to use. So, this is Mr. Multi Havoc out.